Ladies and gentlemen, um, for the love of peace, there are souls who sacrifice themselves for us to be happy one day, for a world without war. And that's why I pay this divine tribute to Mr. Zakhavin. There is one thing missing today on this earth, is peace. I heard them talk about human rights. How can there be human rights when they do not respect every human right to live in peace? And I seriously believe that in this millennium, the human race have reached a no return situation, which is the total abolition of war. Then we can start talking about respecting human rights. For that reason, I am calling on the United Nations. Please do something. Please deserve your salary. <laughs> yeah, because this world is counting on this big machine called United Nations. But all they do is resolution, resolution, sanction and it never works. And I will take an example that especially hurt me. The Israeli and the Palestinian issue, 60 years, six zero years of war. What is the United Nations doing? Ladies and gentlemen, it's not a football game then everybody supports one team against the other. We're talking about the life of the children of Israel, the life of the children of Palestine, which means this peace is a must. <laughs> Mama Bulan, thank you for this honor that you're doing for us Africans. We the forgotten African the forgotten continent, the forsaken continent. Thank you very much. And I stand here in front of you, Mr. Ambassador from Africa. I got something to ask you. Besides abolition of war in the world, Let's abolish war in Africa. We Africans cannot afford the luxury of war. And also, we know how those stupid wars begin because of the military coups. We got to stop that too. No more military coup. You want to be president, you get elected. You don't like the president, you don't vote him. But having a machine gun, a Kalashnikov, is not a political diploma. Thank you. Let's take a ride to Masada.